Hi there everyone, it's Amanda here. I don't have a card for you today, but I thought I could do a quick video showing you what I have bought this month at Simon's Stamp. This is something that not everybody likes, but I know many of you do like to see the things that people buy, so I thought I could do that today. And of course this is not sponsored or anything, this is really something I bought myself from Simon's Stamp and just arrived. So, well, this is of course just the card from Simon's Stamp. And let's see. <laughs> so I got a uh, new ink. This is Gina K Amalgam ink. Apparently this ink is for everything. Works with watercolors, with copics, with pencils. And I really couldn't wait to try it. I wanted to buy the big one, but it was out of stock. So I went for this small one and we'll see if it's as good as they say. Then new Distress Oxides. I don't normally buy all the distress oxide that come out i normally buy the ones that i know i'm going to use more and definitely the tumble glass and spoon sugar are my favorite from this uh, release um yeah i really use them a lot in the other version of this dressing so i really wanted to have them and then i use this a lot this is really really good uh dose it's a dot liner and it's great, it's, it lasts forever and I, I really like the, the dots instead of the, the full line. Uh, I already have one, this is just to replace uh, the other one when it's over. So Then here I, yeah, here I just have a re-inker from one of my Copics that I was looking, I was uh, trying to find this one forever because it was out of stock everywhere, so uh, my BG10 it's pretty dry, so I got a re-inker and there was an offer at Simon's Stamp, 25% discount, so it was pretty cheap. And this stamp set is from Simon's Stamp. I didn't have it. I do have the dies, but I didn't have the stamp set, yeah. So I really wanted to have it. It's a beautiful stamp set. I think everybody is going crazy over this one because look at that flower. It's just beautiful. Uh, what else? Paper, of course. I Every time I order from Simon's Stamp, I order paper. Many of you ask me what kind of paper I use. This is the kind of paper I use and I order from Simon's Stamp always because I cannot find it here in Europe. I think there was a shop where they were selling this Nina, but I wasn't very sure about it, so I decided to just go for this one. But yeah, I always buy Nina 80 for, let's say, for normal, for the coloring, for the for the for the panel that I put on front, in, in front of the of the base card, and then the the heavy one goes for the base card. So let me show you. So this will be the base card, yeah, and this is heavy because it feels better when you take a card and it's heavy weight. And then this I use for for the rest for stamping coloring, unless it's something that requires a lot of I don't know coloring or heavy heavy Copic. Uh, marker coloring then maybe I will use this one but normally this is how it goes and then here I just have a bunch of re-inkers <laughs> and um, yeah I just got re-inkers for my distress I didn't this one was quite dry and I also got oh yeah multi-medium Mate, I use this a lot for, for everything, for uh, sticking my phone, for sticking the sequence. I use this all the time. This is a, my favorite uh, glue to use. It dries matte, so you cannot see it if you mess up a little bit. And then I just bought whoosh, just re inkers for my uh, for my distress oxides. Well, this this um, what? I didn't buy the one for spoon sugar. Oh my. Okay. Okay, so I bought one for tatter rose, tatter rose, and for tumble glass, and for shaded li lilac, and for squeezed lemonade. I think the spoon sugar maybe was out of stock, that's why I didn't buy it. Anyway, I bought for the other distress. Uh, type spoon sugar. And then I bought a glossy accent because mine somehow got broken. I mean, I cannot take it out, I cannot fix it, so it's not working for me. So I just got a new one. And also this. 
This is Prisma Glitter. I've seen people using this and I love it. It's really, really nice glitter. So I can wait to use it. It's from Lonfon. And last but not least, I got a bunch of watercolor brushes. I really like these ones because the uh, handle is metallic and my problem is that with, with handles that are made of wood, normally they start chipping after a while. I don't know why, maybe I don't dry them properly. So also I think I bought this to encourage me <laughs> to try more watercolor because I'm not doing any watercolor at all. So I should be doing a little bit more of watercoloring, I think. What do you think? Anyway, that was it. That's my <laughs> shopping for this month. Well, actually, I ordered a little, something else, but it's just a little package, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I bought. <laughs> and uh, I, as you see, I can make videos already. I guess I just settled this. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And um, I'm gonna film a video of a card very soon uh, and you will see it on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.